That's hey. Come out, man. If yeah. you're really trying to like show what you got, come out, man. We're giving you all the opportunities you uh, can need. And if not, watch it. It's gonna be some fun stuff. And hey, you might pick up a thing or two yourself. Yep. But anyways, looks like we have our next match here. We got uh, NorCal versus NorCal and a SoCal local. So Silver Fox coming down from NorCal, not last, kind of like a mix of SoCal and NorCal, but I think the majority of the time he's in uh, he's in NorCal. So yeah. I'm not sure if these two know each other or if they just happen to be from the same place, but we'll see how this goes. So yet yeah, another uh, Sheik versus uh, Peach matchup. If you saw earlier, not last day, we'll take out Dynamo to the loose bracket. And he's playing the guy who actually eliminated Dynamo from the tournament, Silver Fox. Ooh. Silver Fox. All right. The so Bones lose semis here, starting off on Battlefield. It is a best of five, by the way. Yes. Interesting start, though. I actually think uh, he's just pretty strong on this stage. I definitely agree. Ooh. Okay. Crowns him again. Uh, I'm really curious uh, how Silver Fox chooses to get off the ledge, because that's where Notlass has consistently been very strong at. Um, in these sets, just keeping people pressured at the ledge with all these hitboxes and covering roll-ons pretty hard. Oh. A little bit of perk pivot. Yeah. Combos in there. Yeah, something I was noticing earlier when I was watching Silver Fox play, he has a, a lot of uh, little like subtle tech skill that he chooses to pull off. Really knows his spacing and all counts pretty well. But, oh no, the Saturn uh, in play. Saturn is out. Don't hold that shield. Yeah, just, I would rather just take the hit, yep, man. Just take the hit. Just take the hit. All right, got the ledge trump. Yep, held shield just for a second, and he jumps. He's like, okay, wait. Yeah. If I get this Saturn on my shield, I'm done. But it's Actually, out of play now. Ooh, caught him <laughs> jumping. No DI, man. Just went straight to the blast zone. Yep. Yeah, I did not expect that. Yeah, I don't know about that turn of combo he was going for there, but it started off nice. Oh, nice! Oh, that would have been so clean. Yeah, yeah, so I, close. I noticed Silver Fox going for that a lot in his previous sets. These uh, locks on the platform definitely has his platform tech chases on lock. If he does get not last in that situation again, uh, it's going to be deadly for not last. So up there, not enough. Peach a little bit too floaty, and Battlefield ceiling is a little bit too high. He's trying to go for some fast fall uh, up there too, just to pull him down on the platform. Maybe get a kill from there. Okay, no catch yet again. Still but he's, he's still keeping Nalas in the air. Nalas actually hasn't come down with any type of uh, any type of hitbox really. Get up that that would do it. Will. Yep, just kept him above him the whole time. Nalas really didn't mix up his landing habits that much at all, really. Down for a back air, yep. Classical damage, I'll try to go for a re grab, not gonna make it. Okay, caught him on the platform, forced him into a, a free fall situation, but he's off stage now. All right, good stuff chilling that whole thing. Get some free damage here. Yep, once again, has him on the platform. I really want to, um, when he has not less on the platform above him, he should just go for a lot of empty hops. And then set up like a shield poke situation instead of just throwing a hitbox at his shield. Yeah. Okay, bounce fish, yes. Or clean damage. Or bounce fish. Knows this confirms. Yep, then they give him the percent advantage. Oh, but caught on the ledge, though. Might be taking back. Up smash. Ooh, good power shield. Not last consistently goes for the up smash at the ledge just to cover like a jump or a roll in, but using the neutral get up and the invincibility from the shielding time. Oh yeah, you gotta know that that moves safe on block. If you block that, they can just throw out a free oh, quarter, but that's an SD. No. You never want to go out like that. Not at all. Definitely a uh, bouncing fish miss input. Yeah. Gonna free fall to his death there, right when the match was looking so even. Fortunate play. Luckily for him, it's still a best of five. He has a lot of matches to adapt and just, you know, bring this right back. Has no real reason, you know, he lost that by SD, but he just has no reason to just go on tilt and just say, I shouldn't have lost that. Just focus on the match at hand, running it right back to Battlefield. All right, let's see what we can do. back here again. Life for him is kind of be a lot, a lot more mobile. I feel that he's kind of been putting himself to one particular space. And that's been allowing Nalas to kind of run in at times and get a decent amount of damage. So yeah. as long as he can be more mobile, you're, you're a ninja, man. Move. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Move. 
I mean, load up the Weedle, do what you gotta do. And that'll definitely help him out in the neutral. So I'd like to see hopefully more of that come out of Because conversions have been selling this Yep. Yeah, a character like Peach, when you, oh man, that hitbox is crazy. But yeah, when you stay in shield against Peach, that's exactly what she wants. Because she gets so much shield pressure like this. Oh, uh, yeah, he has to wait that out because the keep drawing safe on block. It's basically a move if they don't hit. Oh, oh tech. Oh, he did it. Walk forward an inch. Oh, man, that was it. That's such a good trap he has, though. Yeah. I like the up to a lot. I haven't seen that that much. Yeah, he does it very often. Looks like he has uh, pretty good awareness of what like spacing and percentages where he can look for it. So uh, I really like that he's been preemptively going for that and he's getting a good amount of miles out of it. Okay, he's getting these F-tilts, but he's not really banging out the air dodges. I, th I think he might have conditioned uh, not last the air dodge that set up. So if he waits for it next time, he should be able to get a kill with maybe a vanish or an up there. Oh, oh nice. Yes, Flow cancel dash attack. And Aangbad just puts his hands up in the air. Yeah, Aangbad is just not a fan of, of Peach. No love for the blonde. Uh-oh, big Ooh, damage. Oh, okay. okay, I don't know about the up smash. Yeah. Well, your down tilt is such a big opener for so much damage. Oh, yeah, that could be. Oh, that'll do it. Good vanish catch. Nonetheless, he's got 26%. Oh, yeah, he does not know what to do about this Peach Bomb, man. He's either getting hit by it or he's just flat out not being punched out of shield. Yeah, every Peach Bomber thus far, though, he's been trying to look for a grab afterwards. So he's afraid to go into shield, but so the cost is not much. Oh, rolled right behind that setup. It was a good, it was a good um, positioning from not last, but he just didn't uh, space himself with the roll from the ledge. Just okay. Good catch. Right, good As Murray wants him. And still off stage. Ooh. I like it. Recovery with the back air still. Nice positioning, not falling into that up smash. Got the tipper down till but didn't combo into a follow-up. Now he's in a rough spot. Four there. Oh, wow. Well cancel. And, and he got it again. Crowned him. It's Sir three Silver five. Fox. He doesn't know if it's three out of five. Yeah, it's three out of five. It's three out of five. Alright, yeah, he's still not knowing how to deal with that Peach Bomber on shield. Keeps jumping at him right when he uh Hits his shield. If you notice, when that move hits your shield, she literally spaces herself like automatically outside of your range where you want to grab or just do like an attack. Yeah. So what you really have to do is just bait out the secondary option, what they try to go for. Like I want to say like like five times out of ten they will go for a four day because a lot of people just jump at shield. And four is basically safe on block anyway, so it's like double shield pressure. Anyway. Regardless though. Not last going up 2-0. He's going to run it back to Battlefield for the third time this set. But Silver Fox is off to a start thus far. Kind of not on the ledge here. Hopefully he can get away. But his basic stance and approach and neutral so far has been really good. So hopefully he can kind of avoid taking too much damage there on this And he promised him. Kill him this man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. Care like Sheik, you kind of feel like you should be quick enough to punish things like that. But you have to know that. Especially after getting hit by it so many times. She got back, man. You, got, you have to respect that. Oh, now last getting really greedy with the other matches now. Another one. Ooh, I like the trap. Wow, that was so good. But Sheik in there saving his life there. Yes, making the ledge like a minefield pretty much. Turn up city boxes. Oh, let's jump back there. Wow, that was strong enough to kill even on battlefield. Not at all for that option. Oh my god. Big damage. Guys. Already at 25. Alright, good DI away. Oh wow. Clutch toad right there, actually. Okay, he's going for the super gimmicks right now. He wouldn't even kill a Sheik with that parasol at that percent. But Silver Fox isn't necessarily punishing. The bouncy fish, okay. Let's okay. see if we can get a kill here. He's gonna go deep for it. Uh, I don't know. It's not gonna work out. Not gonna get punished, but 
definitely a risky option. Yes. Had a lot more safer edge guards you could have gone for there. See, this is a problem now that you'll see for a lot of people. Okay, grid force can get that kill. But that's always a problem when you see kind of like the inner sheets. So still have, they'll have their general combo tech down, all those kind of things. But you gotta remember, when you are playing sheets, yeah, it's great if you have your pivot combos down. But what's most important is if you have a proper kill setup, having proper 50-50s, all yeah. those kind of mix-ups, you can do a lot of stock. Because that is the vein. Yep. Especially in the newest patch. Okay. Nice catch with the down tilt there to catch the landing. Still has him up. Yep. Good read on. He has a good read on how Not Last wants to land. And that's the best thing to have right now. I love the F tilt to catch. He's being really patient on the. Uh, uh, being very patient on the win he chooses to go for the kill. Oh, look at the hard read from oh Not Last. That was actually. If you just threw it out, that was it. You would have beaten that four to. Okay, another F tilt. Another one. Hold your jump. Okay, he has the needles charged up. Oh, big risk. Oh, that's gonna do it. Rage four there. 3 0. Rage four there. Crowned him. Sir Silver Fox has to leave. That was another situation where he would have gotten so much more mileage after just standing still or just doing empty house while he's on the platform. Yeah. Even then, if he had if he had thought about that read, at the percent that he's at, he should have just let the up smash rip. Yeah. Because just throw him, it out. Because yeah. the fact he was charging, probably took bonus knockback from charging as well. Not even just that, but that literally that the duration it took for him to charge, that's the real reason why he ended up yeah. losing his life there. So that's something that you'll time you have a tendency to see in some of the kind of newer players. They'll go for a read with a smash, and then they'll like realize they don't have it, but they'll still charge it because they're like, maybe, maybe, maybe he'll run and into it. That's that's where the problem is. So we have Akito sitting down, my my stick twin, my fighting stick twin. What are you doing, man? He's, <laughs> he's got the better buttons though. I don't know what he's doing, man. He's wilding out with Fang. Oh, he's been playing Guilty Gear. I don't think he entered Street Fire this week. Oh, he didn't? Okay. Yeah. 